Hey everybody, welcome back to the Daily Burn. This is the war room of the political revolution. This is a daily inspirational show that we put out from politics and stuff every day for those of us who are fighting in this political revolution to transform our government into one for the people. We understand that this is our fight and that we the people need to own this situation and move forward united in order to change our future. We know that it is us that must do this. That the only thing that makes change happen is when millions of people stand united and demand it. That is the only way people get their demands met. The only way anything has ever been accomplished. A small percentage of the richest 1% on this planet control 99% of the money and resources. They have formed a system that builds their wealth and power while it systematically cripples the people in order to drive forward their greed. They are destroying us and our planet, and they must be stopped. We are going to stop them. We have had enough of their greed, and we are going to end it. All we have to do is all that we can. I include a link in the description of Every Daily Burn to BernieSanders.com. Please go there and see if there's any way you can help the campaign, maybe by becoming one of the two million of us that are volunteering to help get Bernie elected or donate any amount if you can. Something I want to give as homework to anyone that watches these is to get a bumper sticker. The campaign is asking that we all get bumper stickers to show our support because people need to see that. We need to inspire millions of people. And a bumper sticker is a really easy way to show your support for the campaign. And these are high quality vinyl bumper stickers. They're not the type that are going to tear up your paint job. Or I got mine on my window. But do all that you can. Leave no cards on the table. When this fight is over and you look back on it, make sure it's not with regret that you didn't do more. Because this is happening right now. Something I thought I'd never see. And I know that I have to make sure that as many people as possible realize what is happening and join together with us. That we reach the tipping point needed to crush this greed-driven system of control and rebuild it to benefit the people. We can do it. You've got to believe that. We have got to think like winners. We have to own this and keep moving forward. Do all the hard work and know that in the end it will pay off. It only takes 3% of a population to successfully revolt and overturn a government. That's not impossible. This isn't impossible. No matter what the lying media or any weak-minded, short-sighted individual might say, we can win. We will win. Because we must win. Believe that. Will it into existence. Once we take ownership of this situation and realize that it is ours to fix, we can fix it. And millions of us understand that. And that number is growing every day. We will reach a tipping point. We will become too large and too powerful. And they will be overwhelmed. Now they will fight as hard as they can. But in the end they will lose. Because we are not going to stop. We see this urgency. And we understand the severity of the situation. We can't stop. And we won't stop. And this is going to happen. This change is coming. We are not going to back down and we are not here to compromise. There is no middle ground. We will accept nothing less than that our demands are met. This is no game. They'll try to lull you to sleep. This is a long fight. They have been playing this little game for centuries and they are very good at it. They'll try all they can to break us, to divide us, to weaken and conquer us. But they underestimate us. That's our ace in the hole. They overplay their hand. They have shown this over and over. And they are so used to winning that when they lose, they don't even know how to react to it. And they end up learning nothing from it. They've grown fat and slow. They forget that we saw how this will go already. We lived through and fought in a rigged primary before. We know their playbook. We know what they're going to do. We know what they're going to throw at us. We have learned, and more important, 
We have grown. This isn't 2015. Bernie isn't some unknown senator anymore. He's the most well-known politician out there. And we aren't starting up a grassroots organization from the ground up. We already built one, and it is up and running. We're millions strong, and the voting is still months away. The establishment is terrified. Be proud. Know that what we're doing is not only the morally right path, but will be the victorious path. We are going to bring about massive change. We are going to do this. Not Bernie. Us. Now, that was my monologue, and this is usually a live show. We are trying something new because we have been suffering through massive amounts of technical difficulties. And since most people watch these, watch the show later on, we've been doing this for about two months now. Most people watch the show later on. I thought maybe one way to move forward would be to pre-record these. And that way, the whole message would get out uninterrupted. I mean, one thing we lose is I don't get to interact with comments. But if you're watching this, please comment. Please interact. Please talk and, and discuss things. I love reading the comments for one. And for two, any interaction in the show helps us show up better in Facebook's little algorithm and get out to more people. So if you shared, thank you. But like and comment as well because that all helps. But this is a segment of the show where I get into Bernie's events, what's going on with Bernie right now in the campaign. Something really cool that I wanted to mention real quick is um, he released an anti-endorsement list, which I think is great. Go to his site and check it out. It's a list of a dozen wealthy businessmen and uh, people that he does not want endorsements from, that he has made an announcement that these people who have been vocal against his agenda and message for years, he does not want their support and does not seek it. Uh, another thing that's happening in the campaign that's been going on uh, for a little while is they've been opening a lot of offices in New Hampshire. They've opened six offices in New Hampshire, and there are 45 activists on the ground in New Hampshire working for the campaign. So they are focusing heavily on New Hampshire right now. Uh, he just wrapped up a tour where they went to Iowa for 10 events and then Vegas for three more. And he marched in 12 miles of parades. You know, he doesn't just show up for a photo op. He marches in the parade. That's our boy. That's Bernie right there. 12 miles in, in, uh, in, the, in those two, what, in a span of a week and a half. So that's pretty impressive for a 77-year-old man that's supposed to be too old to run for president. So... I think he's uh, he's showing that he has a lot of vigor left. There's a lot more left in him. He is not a worn out old man. That's ageism anyway. I get so tired of seeing that. You know, they never mentioned that with Joe Biden. You notice how that went right out the window when they started throwing their support behind Joe Biden? That went right out the window. But this next segment of the show is called Know Your Enemy. In this segment, I go through any or I go through the mainstream media the garbage pit that is the mainstream media. And I pull out anything and everything that I think we'll be dealing with moving forward, anything that I think is relevant to us in this fight. The only things I really want to discuss today on today's Know Your Enemy is Bernie was on Rachel Maddow last night, and it went really well. Check it out. Uh, I thought she'd be in full attack mode. She wasn't. But check that out. It was a really good appearance for Bernie, and he got his message out there really well, too. And, you know, unfortunately, Rachel Maddow still has a large audience, so it was a good appearance for Bernie. And Bernie likes to do that. He'll go into the lion's den. Rachel Maddow has been an enemy of our movement in the past. But he goes there, and he does those things. And we have a fantastic candidate. I'm very proud of Bernie Sanders. And from what I hear, I, I myself haven't watched it yet, but I've heard that he did really well on Rachel Maddow last night, so check that out. Something else I found in the media today was a positive piece on Bernie Sanders, and I found it on Fox, of all the places. You know, I always find the positive stories on Fox, though. That's weird. You know, the left-leaning media is either completely silent on Bernie Sanders or launching hit pieces. Fox is silent, like them, but when they mention Bernie, they do it in a positive light. There was probably two positive pieces on Fox this morning, but... This one was about how Bernie's message is dominating the Democratic Party, which it is. And it's good to see that being pointed out. 
um, CNN is claiming that Kamala Harris is surging in the polls. They're fake bullshit polls. But we're just going to have to deal with that moving forward. You know, they've got Bernie, I think, in third or fourth place now in their polls at like 12% or something. Biden at 22. They still have Biden in the lead, which is not even believable at this point. And I've noticed that not only is the mainstream media pushing their support behind Harris, they are backing off and backing away from Joe Biden. They are giving him much less focus. And there's actually a hit piece in NPR today uh, about Biden and about how in the civilian sector since leaving office, he's made $15 million speaking to wealthy people, you know, like Hillary was doing. And um, he's bought and paid for. So they're exposing that. And I think that's surprising that the media is turning on their darling. But I, we've talked about that on this show for a little while, how I feel they are switching to uh, it looks like Harris. For a little while, it, it was either Harris or Warren, but I think it's going to be Harris at this point moving forward. But that was Know Your Enemy. Uh, there's really not much else in the media. Uh, a lot of Trump. There always is. They're, they're building him up as their boogeyman. That's all they plan to run on is that they're not Trump. But the other know your the other element of know your enemy is basically your quitters and dissenters on social media. I used to spend a lot of time fighting them. I used to want to be in their feed and tell people that this laying down plan that you've got is not the way to go. And uh, I still do that. It's still my guilty habit. But they're like talking to a brick wall. They've convinced themselves that doing nothing is somehow doing something. And it's maddening. So I, I'm trying to focus less on that. But that is an enemy of ours. And they'll be the people that just fear change. You know, they'll fight us moving forward. But we're going to win. You know, we just have to remember that. Look in the mirror. Say it to yourself over and over again. Say it to yourself until you're convinced of it. Your mind is more powerful than you can possibly imagine. Our true power, individually even, but especially as a group, has been kept from us for centuries. We are very powerful. We've been convinced that we're weak. You are not weak. We can change our future. We are in control of our destiny. So let's get out there, move forward, keep fighting, and let's win this. Thanks for watching The Daily Burn. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you think we should stay live, fight through the technical difficulties, and stay live because it's better to be able to talk back and forth. Or do you like this, where it's uninterrupted and the message gets out there and you get all the information and then we can talk in the comments section? Let me know. Uh, I like to hear what you guys want because in the end, I want you to enjoy this. I, if, if it's not getting out there, I'm wasting my time and talking to myself. I want this message to get out to as many people as it can. So please like and share and thanks for watching. We'll be back with another episode of The Daily Burn tomorrow from Politics and Stuff. See you then.